Hi guys, Baba from Emotive Speaking. In today's video, we are going to open and check this Noctua Industrial Fan. So, without further ado, let's go and open the box. So first, we can check what we can find on the box. Nice note from the front side. And on the back side, you can see all the specification of the fan. Type, size, uh, connector and other important things like airflow, max RPM, static pressure. Everything what you need to know. So and now let's go and open the box. What I like about Noctuas is their boxing. Yeah, sometimes it looks a bit as an unnecessary but it is pretty solid. Now we can see the fan. Okay, the first what you can see is typical or it is a type of a branding, the gray rubber corners. I don't mind, I like them to be honest. And now let's put the fan out. Yeah, <laughs> here you have to be a bit uh, creative because the cable of the fan is placed around the yeah, screws. Uh, the whole bottom side of a packing like this way. So you need to take this and put it out of the box or you will be not able to uh, put the fan out without the risk of uh, damaging the cable. Yeah, what is out? Nice long cable with a perfect rubber sleeving. Yeah, if you bend it a bit more, this tight bend is not looking the best. But uh, if you buy an Octa, you more or less look for performance, not for the best look. And I totally agree. Uh, one thing about this fan, I already run it on my test bench and <laughs> one thing which I noticed is uh, if you run on, I would name it as an idle, so 1000 RPM, one and a half, it's very quiet, you almost don't hear it, it's perfect. But whenever you step over 2K RPMs, uh, it's start to make a noise which is not very pleasant for your ears. So uh, as Noctua noticed, it is an industrial fan which is uh, mentioned to be used in a rooms where uh, you as a human will not spend much of a time because it can be quite annoying. And yeah, you can see it is a classic 4-pin PVM, nice connector from the back side, nice logo, all important details. Uh, Noctua branding is for me absolutely perfect because it's simple, you know everything on one place and uh, the output or the final product uh, doesn't need any explanation more than it is placed on the product itself or in worst case scenario on the back side of the boxing and that's absolutely perfect and I really like that. On the side of fan, I don't know in which, yeah, here you can see the directions of spin and the direction of where the flow will be low. So in this fan, it is a traditional fan. So the air go through here and out there. What I really like on this fan is the mounting of a 
engine because first you all it looks perfect it doesn't matter that much because most of the time you will not see the back part of the fan but uh, it creates a very interesting flow if you place if you find running and you place the hand here you can feel the constant pressure on hold your hand not on the on the edges or in the centric to the middle almost on all of uh, area of the fan the output pressure is more or less same which is quite interesting and maybe that's why these fans are so popular at the end of this video uh, I'm thinking about buying more of these and add them to my personal computer because uh, I fell in love a bit with this kind of a car composition and with the quietness of the fans. Thank you guys for your time. Enjoy the video as you always. Please subscribe if you like it and see you in the next one.